Oh, is that a stain? I like this coat. Uh-huh. Who's wilder? And what's Ethereum Wars? A game ad? Hmm. Using the IPC's cutting-edge ether copying technology, we can record any creature you've seen inside of an ether coin. Just print it out and compete against other players. Let your ether spirits fight for your glory. Oh, seems pretty neat, don't you think? <laughs> right? I knew you were a gamer! Wanna check it out on the way? Why do you look so unimpressed? Seriously, think about it. It's ether copying. I've only ever heard of that Stellaron Hunter girl using this kind of tech. Come on, let's go. Just think of it as keeping me company for a while. It's at the Rivet Town Plaza, right? Let's hit the road. There's no time like the present. Uniform. Was it him that texted you? <laughs> I knew you'd come! Come on! Let's chat about Ethereum Wars! I've been playing it for 18 years, so ask me anything. I'll tell you everything I know. Yeah. Can you give us an overview? Why, it'd be my pleasure. I could talk to you about Ethereum Wars all day. Ethereum Wars. The name says it all. It's a collectible card game that uses ether copying tech, and ether coins are what you use to play. Using an ether coin, players can store creatures they've encountered in the form of an ether, and then manifest them as ether spirits to battle against other players. Collect, battle, train, and upgrade. That's Ethereum War's motto. I never expected the corporation to know anything about ether copying tech. I thought that was something only Punk Lordy and hackers could handle. <laughs> You're right! The technology itself originated from Punk Lord, but with the relentless efforts of the IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild, we've also gained a basic understanding of how to edit Ether. We might not be able to manipulate the data of reality as easily as those hackers can, but we're not far behind. I think it'd be better if the IPC avoided it. It sounds pretty dangerous. Uh, you mentioned something about the Interastral Tournament Festival? What is that? Oh, great question! The festival is actually a tournament organized by the Ethereum Wars Gaming Association at the end of each season and is open to players from across the universe. Gamers will come together to relax, share tips and tricks, and have a blast playing the game. However, due to Stellaron's blocking interstellar routes, the festival was changed to online attendance at the last minute. Nevertheless, for those who insist on attending in person, our offline venue is still open to them. Sounds like the association really cares about their players. Uh, <laughs> well, that's... Uh, do we have to start an interrogation right now? I know the IPC aren't exactly our friends, but that's not just his fault. That's right! 
Any idea where we can give it a spin? <sighs> I can't believe it! I finally managed to successfully promote the game! Uh, is it that difficult? Oh, wait, does this game suck? No, 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 of course not. It's just, as someone who's been playing this game for so long, I guess it's hard for those who haven't played it to understand. I swear on my reputation that this game is truly the best form of entertainment out there. I'll take the rap if you don't like it. There's no time to waste. Since you're both interested, let me take you to the festival service hall to register your accounts. This way. Ah, oh, the atmosphere here is so different now. It's so lively. <laughs> so you guys have been here before? The corporation recently saw the potential in Urillo 6 and decided to renovate this old weapon testing ground. Take a look. This is where the International Tournament Festival will be held this year. The Ethereum Wars Gaming Association specifically chose this planet to help rejuvenate it and bring it up to date with the latest trends. Good, good. Everything is going according to plan. <laughs> is that... Mr. Giovanni, is that you? Hmm? <clears throat> <laughs> Wilder! I was just wondering where you'd got to. Oh, and you brought along two beautiful young ladies. Welcome to my arena. If I'm not mistaken, you're the trailblazers, right? So, I presume you two have heard about the Interastral Tournament Festival. Have you come to show off your skills? <laughs> Mask. Pretty cool, don't you think? <laughs> Just as I expected. You're exactly as they say in the rumors. <laughs> My name is Giovanni de Giorgio de Epsilon. A humble private trader from Epsilon and the sole sponsor of this year's Interastral Tournament Festival. <laughs> if there's anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for introducing yourself, Mr. Giovanni D. something something. You seem like a pretty important person. What brings you to this kind of place? <laughs> no harm done. Your candid personality is charming, Miss March. Now, let me answer Miss March's question. As you can see, the Interastral Tournament Festival is about to be held on this beautiful, icy planet. And as the sole sponsor of this event, it's only natural for me to come to the tournament venue and check on its operations. Furthermore, I'd also like to get to know the players of the tournament, including yourselves. One can never have too many friends when it comes to doing business in this uh, vast universe of ours. If you'd be willing to call me friend, it would be a great honor to have you as such. Wow, weird mask, strange vibes, a little out of touch. But he seems friendly enough, right? <sighs> Is that all you care about? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> You're even funnier than I imagined. I'll take that as an acceptance of our friendship. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Giovanni. I believe Wilder has already filled you in on the Ethereum Wars, but if you have any questions about the Interastral Tournament Festival, I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Uh, Mr. Giovanni, let me take care of it. It's my job, after all. Don't worry, Wilder. 
It's only natural that I introduce the festival to my new friends here. You can go ahead and attend to other matters while I show these two around. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Giovanni. I'll be off then. Feel free to ask me about the Interastral Tournament Festival in the venue. Is there anything in particular you'd like to know? Bellabog's Weapon Testing Ground. At least it was 700 years ago. While renovating this place, we stumbled upon quite a few automaton production lines, all covered in thick layers of dust. <laughs> Several hundred years ago, the people of Bellabog tested the performance of their combat automatons here. But now, under my sponsorship, the IPC and the Ethereum Wars Gaming Association have transformed this place into the competition venue for the tournament. In other words, this place is now my arena. Of course! This project has been approved personally by the President of the Bellabog Architecture Guild and the Minister of Culture. As for whether they received the approval of the Supreme Guardian, well, that's beyond my knowledge and involvement. That's all I can share about that at the moment. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Indeed. Have you seen the big circular platform down below? When the championship commences, this space will serve as the arena for Ethereum Wars players to showcase their skills and where they'll vie for supremacy. During the festival, you'll have the chance to mingle with players from all over the universe, share experiences, level up your ether spirits, and challenge each other. Ah, yes, my... Apologies, I should have mentioned this earlier, but because of the well-known Stellaron problem, many players won't be able to attend in person. So it's likely you'll mostly encounter familiar faces during the event. <laughs> it's simple. First, you need to register your account at a terminal in this festival service hall. Oh, you haven't created one, correct? After you've successfully created and registered your account, I'll delve into all the details of the festival. But for now, you'll have to deal with the suspense for just a little bit longer. <laughs> you've certainly got quite the active imagination. Rest assured, I'm just passionate about gaming. I love observing how players compete and cooperate with each other. I have no hidden agendas, I can assure you of that. I swear on my reputation and my mask. Actually, I have a question. You've been explaining a lot about the venue, but I'm still confused about the game. Can we actually give it a go? Why, of course, not a problem. I'll make an exception just for you. You can borrow my ether spirits and experience the thrill of battle. What's all the commotion? Hey, it's work. Hand over that coin. Oh, you little brat. Who said you could touch this? I found it on the ground. Hey, that's enough. Picking on a kid, are we? Uh, Outworlder lady, careful. They're dangerous. Don't sweat it. Leave them to us. I say, my IPC friends, I can see how captivated you are by that coin. Am I right in assuming that you're also Ethereum Wars players? <laughs> Where did that masked dude come from? And what does it have to do with you whether I'm a player or not? Exactly! What's it to you, sneaking around with a mask on? You must be some kind of creep! <laughs> what I'm getting at is this. Since you're both players, why not have a showdown to settle the matter? 
Following the proper rules of the game, of course. But instead of this young boy, I propose that these two young ladies be the challengers. If they lose, the coin will naturally become yours, and you can do as you wish with it. But if you lose, I would kindly ask that you gracefully accept defeat and refrain from causing any more trouble in my arena. Are we all in agreement? Ahem. <clears throat> I wouldn't advise it. Violence wouldn't make for a very interesting outcome, now would it? Let's all agree to keep things peaceful and enjoyable. Now, Mr. Giovanni's right. Now's our chance to check out this game and see if it lives up to the hype. Here are a few beginner-level ether spirits for you. They'll help you get the hang of the game's pace and rules. If you have trouble handling these beginner spirits, it might indicate that this game isn't the best choice for you. Ha! You've got some nerve. You're in for a rude awakening. Prepare to face the might of Topaz's support squad! showed those troublemakers who's boss. Are you okay, Eric? Thanks, Miss March. <laughs> I, I'm fine. I was wondering the same thing. Why would they pick on someone half their size? I, I don't know. I just found this coin on the floor. Hmm. Based on the appearance of the coin alone, it's difficult to discern any significance. As for who it belongs to, that's also a mystery. Didn't they mention something else? Topaz? Yeah, they mentioned Miss Topaz. What's that all about? Oh, I know. Uh, they said they were members of Miss Topaz's support squad. They said they'd gather the strongest ether spirits from across the universe and give them to her, so she could win the tournament. Uh-huh. Would Miss Topaz stoop so low? I can't believe she'd be that desperate. I think there must be some kind of misunderstanding. I have had some interactions with Miss Topaz, and this doesn't seem like her way of dealing with people. 
I suppose that means this coin doesn't belong to Miss Topaz after all. I wonder whose it could be. It doesn't seem to have any info on it. Indeed. There is no information on the Ether coin that could help us trace it back to its owner. It seems returning it to its rightful owner will be quite the challenge. I... I think it'd be better if you kept it. I have no clue what this is or how to play that Ethereum Wars thingy. I bet you guys can find a better use for this coin than me. I see. Well, when you put it that way... Looks like we'll hold on to it for now. What do you think, Mr. Giovanni? <laughs> I have no objections. After all, trading and training are all part of Ethereum Wars. I say, why not put the coin to good use? It's settled then. I need to go home now. My dad's still waiting for me. Ah, uh, he just wandered off. Maybe we ought to take him home? What if he bumps into more IPC goons? Oh, no need to worry. The majority of the IPC's employees are quite professional. Wouldn't dream of tarnishing their company's reputation. Now, I suggest that both of you summon the coin's ether spirit. After all, it's the first one that you've truly acquired for yourselves. It'd be nice for you to get to know each other, don't you think? Ah, oh, you're right! Ah, uh, let me see. How does this coin work again? Ah, uh, uh, there we go! It's, a uh, Warp Trotter? A Warp Trotter? Hmm. This is quite a rare Ether Spirit, but they're not very powerful. Why would those IPC folks be after it? Huh? Looks like the little guy's scared. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? D did we do something wrong? Don't worry, Ms. March. It's likely the Warp Trotter is just naturally timid. Hmm. I must say, though, this one is a bit peculiar. Ether spirits are usually just digital representations of creatures. They shouldn't possess any specific traits. According to their programming, ether spirits are supposed to obediently follow a player's commands and faithfully execute their instructions. Which doesn't seem to be the case right now. <laughs> You could try giving them a command? Uh, looks like it didn't work. Hmm, I see. They're likely acting this way due to some sort of data anomaly or discrepancy. It would be best to report this issue to the Ethereum Wars project team, so they can address it accordingly. to the IPC. Let's just keep them, okay? <sighs> awesome! I knew you wouldn't abandon such a cute and defenseless creature. <sighs> Alrighty then. Let's take this little fella with us to the festival. Now I think it's time we came up with a catchy name for them. Um... Got any good ideas? I'll lend you an extra brain cell. Oh, that's a good one. I like it. Uh, it's up to you. Do you want to try something different? or how you got here. Let's go and win that tournament! Of course, it'd be even better if we could unravel the mystery of your past along the way. <laughs> well, isn't this a delightful turn of events? And now let me show you how to navigate the Ethereum Wars player terminal. <laughs> right this way, please. 